Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I'm back in Canada for a few weeks. I'm uh, visiting some family and friends. I'm starting here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. I was born here, raised just outside in a little community called Cole Harbor. And then uh, I'm gonna head up to Ontario, visit my daughter up in Kingston, and then I'm heading out to Edmonton, Alberta. So there'll be a few Canadian videos in the lineup here over the next few weeks, so stay tuned. So I'm currently out in Eastern Passage. I grew up not too far from here, maybe about 10 minutes, and I'm out in an area called Fisherman's Cove. It's a huge tourist area, but unfortunately it is gonna rain all weekend. So I'm out here early in the morning, but I don't think there'll be too many tourists through here today, but it's all kinds of like little shops. You can buy everything from like soaps to like little trinkets and stuff. Plus there's all kinds of decent restaurants. There's ice cream and stuff. There's this boondocks restaurant, like literally tour buses will stop here. And then there's like a little boardwalk over by uh, McCormick's beach. I'm not gonna bother walking it cause it's pouring out, but uh, kind of an interesting spot if you're ever in Halifax, uh, maybe take a trip out around lunch and spend an hour or so here. It's, uh, it's pretty good time and over behind me is one of the lobster fisheries you'll find those all over Nova Scotia uh, Nova Scotia lobster of course is known worldwide as some of the best lobster on the planet All right, so I made it out to my old uh, stomping grounds, my beach here in Cole Harbor, Rainbow Haven. It's quite nice, just not today. Uh, apparently it was 25 to 30 degrees Celsius all week. I landed last night, it's like nine degrees now. And I only have shorts, thank God I have this hoodie. But yeah, our beaches, a lot of the beaches in Nova Scotia, you will see they have this like, uh, oh, I forget the name of it but this like sand grass so all under here is like sand dunes and it gets covered with this grass uh so we most of our beaches have like these kind of boardwalk things here but yeah we're coming up just picture this it gets packed in the summer when it's sunny and it's like between 20 and 30 degrees celsius but yeah beautiful beach yeah so it appears that they haven't done any of the beach maintenance they usually clean it up a lot better but it's only early june so the water here would be absolutely freezing at the moment but on a nice beautiful day when it's like you know in the 20s this place is absolutely packed okay this will be our last beach that i'm going to stop at it's lawrencetown beach it's where everybody comes to surf it's not really ideal surfing weather right at the moment not too rough either uh, but there's surf schools all up and down the coast here so I think we'll head out and maybe we'll grab a donair which is the official official food of Halifax here I'll explain that later um, if you want to check out more on Halifax's beaches I did uh, shoot a video a few years ago Halifax's top beaches I'll link it below I filmed it in the summer like when it's actually nice I'll leave you with some footage from that, just of the droning. I gotta get back in the car, I am frozen. Right, so I'm back in my hometown here Cole Harbor I stopped at my neighborhood butcher they've been around for like 40 years and I'm 45 so I've literally been coming here my whole life they do all their uh, deli meats and stuff they make them right on site smoked they have beautiful like salads uh, fresh baked bread and of course like cuts of uh, steak like tomahawks ribeyes you name it amazing so they make their own sausage but what they're really known for and what made them super popular here is their pepperoni it's uh very different than what you would get in europe it's extremely smoky it's smoked on site here every week and it's got like this unique taste i believe the family originates uh from poland so i've never been to poland so maybe it's sort of similar to that 
but it is super famous here. Comes in the butcher paper. They have just big coils of it and they break it off and weigh it. Absolutely amazing. If you're ever in Halifax and out in Coal Harbor, definitely stop in and grab some two boys pepperoni. It is dynamite. I, it's bringing me back to my childhood now. All right, guys, so time for Halifax's official food, the Donair, standing over here at Pizza Corner, which back in the, let's say, 90s when I was hopping the bars, they would let out at like 2 or 3 in the morning and everybody would crowd here. There were three pizza places on each of the, on, on three of the four corners. Everybody would come over here and get a slice or a Donair. Back in the day, Donairs were like two bucks. So anyway, they range from like a quarter pound to like all the way up to like a pound of meat. You can fill them. And basically how it started is a guy immigrated over here from Greece and he started selling Greek euros. Well, that didn't really connect with the locals here. So they switched out the lamb to beef, switched out the tzatziki to uh, like a sweet sauce. It's basically made from condensed milk, vinegar, sugar, and garlic. It's absolutely delicious. Simple, but delicious. So you get like this mild spice, salty meat with a sweet sauce. And then the true Halifax Donair only has lettuce and tomato. Out west, you'll find them with cheese and lettuce and all kinds of crap on them. No, might be a Donair, but it's not a Halifax Donair. So if you're here, make your way up to, uh, pizza corner here there's sicilian is the only place left from the originals but uh kod which is king of donaire is also a really good one you'll find that around town i believe there's one up on quimple road not too far from here so come down and check it out um it's absolutely delicious something really unique i've never seen it anywhere else All right, so I'm down on the Halifax waterfront, which is usually bustling with people on a nice summer day, but uh, the weather is gonna, it's gonna impede that a little. So if you look across the harbor here, that is Dartmouth, where we started this video this morning. That's the Dartmouth Ferry Terminal, and this is the ferry coming in right here over to the Halifax side. There's all kinds of like bars and tourist shops and all kinds of cool stuff down here. A lot of it's changed since I've left, but there's some really, really nice place. So you could sit out on the patio, have a beer, grab a burger, maybe some fish and chips. It's amazing. Another cool place to go check out, which I'm not gonna bother going to today, is the Halifax Public Gardens. It's up off of Spring Garden Road. It was actually gifted to the city by the Queen, I believe. It's absolutely stunning. Forget how many acres it is, but it's a nice walkthrough, completely free. And in the summer, they usually have a, uh, what do you call it, like a gazebo bandstand and they'll have like different groups come in and play music and stuff throughout the day. I think they post the schedule online. So anyways, we'll uh, walk along here and uh, see what's changed on the waterfront. All right, so this huge building behind me, they started this before I left and I believe it just fully opened this year. It's like um, residences, uh, right on the water here in the harbor. And then it's also a really nice five-star hotel. Ton of different restaurants in there. I have not eaten at any of them, but I watched some local YouTubers still from Halifax and they've reviewed a bunch and they're supposed to be fantastic. So really interesting, uh, cause this, the boardwalk literally used to just keep going, but it was just a basic boardwalk. And now we have this entire thing here. I don't know, there was quite a bit of controversy over it when they started building it because everybody likes to keep the things the same, but you know, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it. I think on a nice summer day, this would be cool. This thing that I'm on right here kind of reminds me of that thing downtown Vancouver, sort of by the seaplanes, but yeah, quite a nice little spot. Out here is George's Island. You can actually take a tour, you can take a boat over. They do a little shuttle, historic fort back from like World War two and stuff, World War I. Uh, they actually, I believe they used to hang people over there. This was years ago. And uh, if you didn't know, Halifax has tons of history uh, dating back uh, hundreds of years. I think it was founded in 1749. Uh, in World War II, it was a huge like staging area before people went over to Europe. They used to have like, uh, what do they call those? Uh, submarine nets at the mouth of the harbor. The Americans used to come up. Uh, and then head over from here also. 
and I think uh, the other big thing that you might know, well, the Titanic Cemetery is here over on Fairview Cemetery. Uh, so that's kind of cool if you want to check it out. I think there's a display at the Maritime Museum and also the Halifax Explosion uh, where two ships collided here in the harbor during World War I. Yeah, I believe it was 1917, we got World War One, And uh, it was the Mont Blanc and another ship. Anyway, one was carrying ammunition, leveled the city. People came from as far as Boston to help us get everything back together. But yeah, a lot of history here. Come and check her out. It is a nice, nice spot here. And these ships are like tours. Like you can go and take tours of those too. They're old like military ships. And yeah, lots going on here. There's like pirate outings and booze cruises and all kinds of different stuff. So definitely really neat. And as you're going down the waterfront, there's all kinds of little places to eat. You can go to some of the fantastic restaurants we have but then they also have these little like kiosks you can get a beaver tail which if you haven't had a beaver tail if you've if you've never heard of a beaver tail it's literally fried dough and then you get your selection of toppings my favorite is just like cinnamon sugar with lemon it's amazing but you can load them up with everything nutella and everything but yeah it's like a sheet of fried dough that looks like a beaver tail one of the most iconic canadian things other than tim orton's and another interesting place to check out if you're into history is the halifax citadel which is a fort and it sits right up behind these tall skyscrapers you used to be able to see it for years and then the city grew but it's an old fort they have cannons recreations the soldiers are all dressed up and stuff it's kind of neat it's a part of a uh, parks canada national parks pretty interesting and if you want to learn more about nova scotia i started my channel here and if you go through my back catalog i have stuff from all over the province on like little towns uh i did a video in halls harbor where it's like the Bay of Fundy, so it's the world's largest tide flow and all that kind of stuff. There's tons of content if you're interested in Nova Scotia or you happen to be coming here. Check out my uh, my back catalog. So near the end of the boardwalk here, there's a little art installation. It's kind of cool. It's called Got Drunk, Fell Down, and it's some street lights. This guy's hammered, passed out on the ground. His buddy's overlooking. I don't know what's going on with the one on the side, but it's kind of neat little art thing here. If you keep going down the boardwalk this way, you'll get to the farmer's market and that's a cool little place to, like people watch maybe grab a little coffee some unique food lots of organic stuff and like uh of course vegetables and stuff like that really nice little place and beside that is pier 21 which is the immigration museum and uh, a lot of people immigrated over here from the uk and other parts and all the records are there like my family so we actually went in there and we did part of our ancestry and stuff uh it's really cool and they have like a museum you can look around they have the ship's logs who came over and when and all that stuff it's really 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 neat highly recommend checking that out anyways i'm getting soaked i got another day here before i take off to ottawa and kingston so i'm gonna go get warm my passport might say canadian but i'm used to that costa del sol sun and one more thing before i forget if you're in town uh check out the alexander keese brewery tour which is like nova scotia's famous beer alexander keese uh amazing little tour they have people dressed up they do like uh, role player like you know they do like a storytelling and then at the end you get to uh have a few beer at the end of the tour. It's a pretty good time. Highly recommend checking that out. It's right down here, kind of on the waterfront. I'll drop the address below. All right, so my second day in Halifax, unfortunately was hampered by the weather, pretty much the same weather as we had yesterday. So I didn't end up doing a lot today, just visited some family. So now I am out at the Alt Hotel at the Halifax International Airport. There's lots of hotels around. This one is right in the airport you just hop across a little pedway and you're in the terminal so i highly recommend staying at the alt super modern uh hotel awesome views of the runway they even have an espresso right in your room so highly recommend staying here anyways we're heading up to ottawa and then catching a train down to kingston ontario tomorrow so stay tuned I'm gonna wrap this video up lots more canadian adventures to come thanks for tuning in we'll see you in the next one